Hi, in this tutorial what we're going to look at is the multiplication rule for powers. Now here I have 2 cubed multiplied by 2 squared and we can write this for short as 2 to the power 5 and I'll explain why because 2 cubed or 2 to the power 3 is short for 2 times 2 times 2 and we're multiplying that by 2 squared which is 2 times 2 and you can see that I've repeated the 2 a total of 5 times the result of adding 3 and 2 so the answer is in short 2 to the power 5 so this suggests a common rule and that common rule is that if we have anything, let's call it x say, repeated m times, that is we multiply it repeatedly m times and then we multiply it by again x to another power n then what we need to do is simply add the powers so the answer is x to the power m plus n and this is the multiplication rule for powers so what we'll do is just put this in a box so that you can use that as a guide so for instance let's suppose we had x to the power 4 multiplied by x cubed what would that answer be? Well, I could write this out in full as x repeatedly multiplied by itself four times over followed by x repeatedly multiplied by itself three times over in all I would have written down x repeatedly multiplied by itself seven times the result of adding the powers so the answer here would be x to the power seven now in some examples we also have numbers as well as letters that are in the multiplication so let me just show you how we handle that so suppose we had 3x squared for instance and that was multiplied by uh, let's say 5x cubed what would this be? well 3x squared is short for 3 multiplied by x multiplied by x we repeat the x twice over and then we've got to multiply this with 5x cubed so that's going to be 5 times just x times x times x and what would that equal? well we've got 3 times 5 which is 15 and then we have the x which is repeated twice here and three times here so in total it's repeated five times so that's 15 x to the power 5 we can drop the time sign now just 15 x to the power 5 is sufficient with a little bit of practice you should be able to get these results without having to write it out in full like this I'll do another example this time this example is going to have not just x in but another letter let's say y so we've got say 2x squared y cubed and that's being multiplied by let's say 3x y squared okay so let's run through this one 2x squared y cubed that's short for 2 times x times x and then times y cubed so that's times y times y times y and then we're multiplying this by 3x y squared so that's 3 times x times y squared which is y times y now again you're not really going to want to write this out all the time you should really be able to go straight to the answer and maybe you did do that okay so let's just see what we get we get 2 times 3 which is 6 and then as far as the x's are concerned we've got x repeated twice here and once over here so that's going to be x cubed the result of adding the powers 
x to the power 2. Remember this is a hidden 1 here, OK? So you just add the powers, that would be x cubed. And then for the y's, we've got y cubed times y squared, so it should be y to the 5. We've got y repeated three times there and twice there, so it's y to the power 5. OK? Now what I've done next is just set some questions for you to try. I'll bring them up there. OK? Four questions. So that's a cubed times a to the 5. 2a squared times 5a to the 4, 3xy cubed times x to the 4y, and then finally, number 4, 7a squared bc cubed multiplied by 4ab cubed c to the 5. So you might like to pause the video or jot these down on a piece of paper and answer them, and then restart the video again in a few moments and I will give you the answers. OK, so let's see, how did you get on? Well, a cubed times a to the 5, just add the powers, 3 and 5, that's going to be a repeated 8 times, OK? a to the power 8. Number 2, 2 times the 5 is going to be 10, and then you've got a squared times a to the power 4, which is going to be a to the power 6. In number 3, we've got 3 on its own, multiplied by, just say, a 1 here if you like. 3 is just going to go at the front. As far as x goes, we've got x to the power 1 here, times x to the power 4, so that's going to be x to the power 5. And then y cubed times y to the power 1 here, y cubed times a y, that's going to be y to the power 4. And then the last one, 7 times 4 is 28. Then we have a squared times another a here, so that's going to be a cubed. We have b times b cubed, so that's going to be b to the power 4. And finally, c cubed times c to the 5, that's going to be c to the power 8. OK, that now brings us to the end of this video tutorial and hopefully you've understood the multiplication rule then for powers.